Hey everybody, grab yourself a Komi Soda and stay a while because we are back with more of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Last episode we ran around, we went and saw Zelda, we uh, we found out that there was something wrong with my, my valiant bird, my valiant steed. And so we are on our quest to find to find my poor bird. So, we already found out that uh, that the sword place, the swordy place, uh, the presumed sword place, is uh, currently not open. So, oh, hey, it's a good thing I came back and talked to you. Yeah, got a red rupee that's worth 20 rupees. Heck yes. Have to hang back and watch the academy today. Good luck with the ceremony, Comey. Cool. Okay, that was worth my while. All right, so we figured out that the sword place is closed right now, which means I need to go and uh, speak to somebody. So let's see. Let's try and go in Fledge's room. Fledge's room is locked. Let's check out uh this this place. Yeah. I already talked to the guy, so I don't know. Let's go in my room. Let's see what's going on in my room. Yeah. We got some books. Do some light reading. Oh! Found a blue rupee. It's worth five rupees. Better drop it in your wallet for now. That's cool. Got some got some rupees. All right, so this was utterly pointless, except for, you know, blue rupee. Blue rupees are good. Blue rupees are fan-freaking-tastic. Let's, uh, let's check out Groose's room. Why would we check out Groose's room? There's no point in going to Groose's room. Uh, let's see. Wait a minute. Oh, okay, Pippet. Hey, Pippet. You're not still wandering around the academy, are you? What? A loft wing won't come when you call for it. Why would a guardian bird not come when it's called? You know, I've never heard of this ever happening before, so I can't even tell you what you're doing wrong. But it's something. I guarantee it. You are doing something wrong. But a good senior never hangs an underclassman out to dry. We'll figure this out together. You go to the plaza and ask people there if they know anything. In the meantime, I'll ask around here. Oh, I'm supposed to I'm supposed to go talk to some peeps. Okay. Thanks, Pippet. You always know what's best. Okay, so let's go talk to some people, guys. Let's go let's go make a light conversation. You know, dinner talk or something like that. I was about to say something else, it's probably about it. Yeah, okay. Anyways. Let's run down here. Let's see what's going on. So, I guess we get to do a little bit of exploring in Skyloft now. Let's talk to Pearhead. Aw, my Sky Stag Beetle. So close. Oh well, to catch it, I would need a bug net anyways. I wish I hadn't thrown out the one I bought at Beetle's Air Shop. Aww, I'm so sad because my head is a pear. Okay, so, what is this? The I can't remember. Is this the Bazaar? Is this the Bazaar Bazaar? Bizarre, bizarre. No, but I hear. I may have never once come in this place the first time I played this game. Oh my goodness. Who are you? Ooh. Hey, kill me. Today's the big day, isn't it? You know, the wing ceremony thing. Win this thing and you'll get bumped up to the senior class. Here in Skyloft, it's being able to ride a loft wing that separates the kids from the adults. And if your goal is to become a knight, well, couldn't a tech. Good, 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 good. Good technique is even more important. All of us learn to fly the hard way. Lots of practice. Cool. I'm just uh, I'm gonna just open your closet. Hey, you have literally the exact same things that I do. Huh. Weird. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission. Wow. This is boring. Let's read something off of Wikipedia. Did you know that a bloop was an ultra-low frequency and extremely powerful underwater sound detected by the U.S. National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, also known as the NOAA, in 1997? The sound was consistent with the noises generated by ice quakes in large icebergs or large icebergs scraping the ocean floor, but in 2002 it was said to also be consistent with large marine animals. The NOAA believes it is now analyzed it conclusively and the noise was ice-related. However, the true source of the sound still remains unknown. Huh. That's pretty interesting. 
Who would have thought that something called a bloop would be so neat? Anyways, back to your regularly scheduled commentary. Oh, the bazaar is not open yet. How bizarre! Okay, let's go talk to this lady. Hi, hey, call me. Nice breeze today, huh? Perfect for the ceremony. So who do you think will win today? I guess Groose is a strong contender. But the winner will be get bleh, but the winner will get blessed by a village girl chosen to represent the goddess. How romantic. Oh. Oh. Oh, I remember what's going down now. A hey, Groose. Cue legendary music. <clears throat> you know, Groose. It sure was a pain. What with all the snatching and pecking? <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him. And I don't care how tough these birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. I found his voice. I found it. <laughs> Whoa. Comey. So, uh, yeah. Just how long you've been standing there. What's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it. You're here to talk about today's race. I could see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're not pleading. Oh, Groose, can you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? Oh, they are pleading. Excuse me. You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. Well, I'm 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 not I'm not confirming or denying that statement, but you know. <laughs> oh God, his face—it's terrifying. Well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice: work hard and wish it, and wish with all your heart. You might even come second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by the clouds and got lost? Nice hair, bruh. You lay off my dew right now, or I'll flatten you. Everyone knows I've got the sickest pompadour in town. <laughs> uh, I picked a fun voice for Groose and his hair. You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Ooh. Zelda. Hey, nah, it's, uh, um... Uh, um, uh, um, uh, um, um, uh, uh, uh. Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking on Comey again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why do you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, uh, I suppose. You suppose? Suppose what? I suppose you, uh... <sighs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? Okay! We're out of here, boys. Later, Kyomi. Hope you find your bird. Or else you're gonna have to sit out on today's race. That could be a major setback towards knighthood. So find that bird or get real used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. You are a butthole. You know that? You're a butt. You're just a- you're a butt. You're a big, fat butt. Yeah. I hate to say it, but I'm beginning to suspect those blockheads had something to do with your Loftwing's disappearance. Comey, these guys aren't going to help us find your bird, so we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any traces of your bird. Father said he'd talk to the instructor. Horwell, about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so don't forget, don't worry, not forget, don't worry. We'll find your bird in no time. I just can't read today. I cannot 
I cannot read words, you know. It's proving quite difficult to word. To speak. To talk. Words. Yeah. Hopefully that'll get a little better. Okay, so. We have found out that Groose is a big old butthole. And now we're gonna go and... And we're gonna go and see what's up. So... Let's see here. Maybe now is when I need to go over there. Figure out what's going on. Talk to some peeps again. What's up, Comey? You seem to be in a hurry. What's this about your bird? Oh, yeah, that unusual crimson loft wing. Have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Just check your map. And avoid getting lost. Again. Well, thanks for the vote of confidence, you big fat butthole. Everyone's a butthole. They're all buttholes. But I, I do... Oh, hey. I can I can move this and make a shortcut. That's cool. I actually didn't really... Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I have no idea where I'm going right now. I'm just, I'm just trying to figure it out as I go. But considering something just telling me, Hey, go to the statue of the goddess. Maybe I should consider going to the statue of the goddess, eh? Hey, hey Komi! Over here! I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here! <laughs> I feel like I want to make him really obnoxious now. I'm going to do that. That's going to be your voice, buddy. See if I can remember all these voices. Hey, Comey! I was just looking for you. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join the search. And get this! I asked Fledge what he knew. He started asking weird. Asking? Acting. I'm sorry, Comey. I really wanted to tell you, but if Groose found out I told you... It sounds like Groose forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was cleaning the dining hall, Groose and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your loft wing. I wanted to warn you, Komi, but just as I tried to sneak away, Bruce and his gang grabbed me. They said if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. They threatened to break your legs? Well, that's just terrible. It sounds like Bruce and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near the waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. That's it right there. I think that waterfall... I think it means the waterfall marked here with an X. Oh, you mean here? Yeah, that would that would be it, wouldn't it? You know how to read a map, right? Press plus at any time to see a map of the area. If you get lost, just press plus. Forgive me, Comey. I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. Okay. One more thing, Comey. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Beautiful. Fantastic. Let's go and uh, let's learn the ways of the sword. Let's see if I manage to hit my microphone. Hey, person. With the sword. Hey, it's Komi. So you still want to get in some sword practice even though today is the wing ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword is in the back room. Go in there and get it. I'll be back. I'll be here for a while, so if there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, go ahead and ask. Okay. Let's open this door. Close the door behind me. Let's get the sword. That was horribly off key. You got a practice sword. Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it's a fairly sharp blade. Press one at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Okay. Oh. Let's just turn the volume on this down right uh right now. Let's just get rid of that. I don't need I don't need to uh hear hear the swing of my swing of my sword whenever I unleash my sword. That would that would feedback in the mic would be kinda weird. Be kinda funky. So, let us let us take course. Oh yeah, you want to learn about how to use a sword? Yes, please. 
Okay, just swing the Wii Remote to swing your sword. Swing the Wii Remote vertically to do a vertical slash. Swing it sideways to do a side slash. Thrust the Wii Remote forward to do a thrust. And then there's a spin attack, the more advanced technique to do that. Swing the Wii Remote and no check and yeah, in a sideways motion. If you remember these moves, you can handle yourself in any fight. Just remember the fundamentals. Also, press C to target the enemy. Try getting in some good practice on these logs of swords and fun red way you want to try a big vertical overhead practice swing in front of you. And then get back into active. Once you've sliced up those logs, I'll set it up so you can try out a big move. Okay. So. Slash. No. Slash. There we go. That was a vertical. Horizontal. Vertical. Uh. Stab it. Ow. I'm gonna stab you. Ow. Okay. You're just gonna keep hurting me. That's cool. And cross cut. And cross cut. So far, so good. And another. No. Stab. Yeah. That's right, Komi. You really are a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try the spin attack? Oh, yeah. All right. Great, now I'm going to surround you with logs. I'm just gonna make them appear. You need to cut them all without moving from that spot. All you have to do is swing the Wii Remote and then unchuck horizontally at the same time. Give it a shot. Oh no, I'm surrounded, whatever will I do? That. Good one. That sure looked like I felt good. So why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Okay. All right, when your enemy is down, targeted with Z, and swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck at the same time to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing it off with this technique. Slash! Stab! Cool. That's the way. A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you'll have to swing the Wii Remote and Nunchuck quickly before they get on their feet. All right, cool story, bro. I think I've done all my instruction. Oh yeah, you wanna learn about how to use the sword? Not really. I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for telling me more stuff. Thank you. Yes, I, I read all that before, thank you. Yeah, cool, thanks bro. I'm gonna take the sword. I'm gonna take off with the sword. Hey, Comey! You can't take swords outside of the sparring hall. What do you think you're doing sneaking out with that? What? Your loft wing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I can make an exception just this once. But remember, the Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get in a, t in a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first. And once you get outside with the sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Got it. Got it, Captain. Got it. I understand. So I'm gonna, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stab this log again. All right, guys. We are, uh, I think we are, uh, it is time to end this episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. As if you didn't know the game by the title or the fact that, uh, well, I mean, it's, it's not exactly a new game, guys. You know, it's, it's, it's been, it's been around for a little while. Anyways, yeah. Oh. No, I don't. Oh my goodness. No, I don't want to spin. I don't want to spin right round, baby, right round. Okay, so. With that being said, as I was saying, that's about it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. In the next episode, we will head back over to the waterfall where I tried to go originally, but couldn't. And we are going to see what's up with my loft wing. See if my loft wing is there and if we can, uh, if we can save him. Because Groose is a butt. So, until next time, guys, take it easy.